Hey, what's going on guys? Jolt139 here, and here's my segmented speedrun of Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. Uh, this is all my gear. I'm not going to, like, talk about it. Just uh, give it a good look, and we're going to get started here pretty quick. I'm doing these commentaries live over the segment, and this is my third time doing this little segment here, so let's hope I get it right. Um, here's my skills. And then finally, Badass Rank is disabled. So let's get started. Okay, I nailed this jump. Awesome, awesome. Rain some more fleets down on these guys. And now we're gonna recover some rockets here. I'm not using the Logan's gun like usual people do. I'm using the Bada Booms because it allows me to rocket jump and I can recover rockets that way, and it's a really good way to do that. So I'm not gonna wait for these guys. And I'm still offering a reward for rolling the mass murdering the Crimson Red. Alright, so it's my fifth time trying to do this segment. Freaking, I can't kill these guys all the time. They kind of just keep spawning. Um, the goal is to try to kill these guys as fast as I can, so... <sighs> Let's hopefully I get this. Uh, you'll notice I punch sometimes when I shoot. That cancels the animation, and I can shoot rockets a little bit faster. There we go. That was a good one. That was a good one. Alright, so I'm going to recover a little more rockets here since we just shot a bunch off. Ah, uh, Claptrap, I can't wait to get past you because you're so freaking annoying. I just will jump over the gate, why not? <laughs> See, points like these in the game where you have to wait for something, um, it's kind of annoying, but there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to wait it out, so... Let's just hide out up here. There's Clark Trap. This is my favorite part right here. Get zapped, sucker. <laughs> Apologies, but when Claptrap speaks, I feel my brain cells commit suicide one by one. I hear you, Hammerlock. I hear you, man. Alright. A pleasure to meet you, Volt Hunter. I am Sir Hammerlock. This guy's like a a downgraded version of a British Terminator. <laughs> I don't know. Right. So now we're about to give Claptrap, or er, Hammerlock the Eye for Claptrap. Um, he's gonna fix him up, and I gotta get another save and exit going here, so we can skip this lengthy dialogue. There we go. Fuck you, Claptrap, sucker. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get uh, ready to save and quit right here. Now, you gotta connect this to this, and... Come on, and now. <laughs> okay, so this is attempt number 17. This segment, uh, I've already said this a hundred times, is taking me forever. Uh, it's just such a long segment, you can't afford to make any major mistakes or else you will just get butt fucked in the ass, so. Uh, but anyways, huge lag spike there because of PS3, you know. We got those lag spikes, PC doesn't, so. Alright, so, uh, grab Claptrap, come on, okay, there we go. I know I sound a little frustrated, but it's just because, you know, sometimes doing these segmented speedruns can be such a pain if you can't get past a part. Like, this is the next day. That segment from before, I did yesterday, and I kept trying to do this one for uh, a good long while, and it's just been very difficult to do, so. Hopefully this will be the one. <laughs> Alright, so right here we have to stay with Claptrap, I can't rush forward because I have to be right next to him for him to move, otherwise he'll just stand there and wait for me to be near him. Um, so right now he's just being a little douchebag standing there waiting for me to be near him. You'll see him stop right here, right there. Uh, now I can go in and, you know, clear these enemies out. Hopefully I can use my rocket sparingly. There we go, that was good, that was good. You might have noticed I didn't uh, spam the rockets like crazy. It's because I don't want to be like killing them overkill. I need to spare my rockets. 
um, so that I can, you know, not have to risk reloading and wasting time on that. So you'll see me do it here too. As you can see right here, I'm just freaking shooting slowly so I can spare my rockets and not have to worry about reloading so much and wasting time. So I just spam at the red dots and that's how you do that part, so. That was good, okay. Now I gotta recover some rockets fast because he's up below the bridge and there's gonna be two suicide bombers here. Almost full rockets, but that's fine. You'll see that I'm playing online. You can see people getting on and off, on and offline in the upper right corner. Um, I like to stay online just so I can interact with my uh, my friends, you know. So no big deal. And shoot one rocket. Just right there, I was able to do a little bit of damage on him before the cutscene. Alright, now this part has messed me up a few times because they don't die fast enough. I keep damaging Big Bertha, which is the giant machine that guy in the left sin. And uh, I need to be damaging the guy in it instead of the machine. So that's why I'm trying to shoot my rockets at him. I should probably switch to my other launcher so I don't have to reload. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, that was alright. I'll let it go. It wasn't too bad. I need to get some rockets back. Basically, any downtime I have is put to uh, getting more rockets, because rockets are the main uh, key of this run. Go. Alright, now I have the gun zerk. I'm going to go ahead and do a rocket jump past these guys. Oh, cool, he shot me. Basically, when they shoot me, I have a skill which allows me to have increased movement speed. And combining uh, combining that with the rocket jump will allow me to do a really nice long jump. So, now I rocket jump over that, which will uh, save me quite a bit of time. Because uh, you'll see Flint in the corners talking. Read below. <sighs> Can't read the message now, bro. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. That cutscene, he's... Uh, not cutscene, the dialogue... He basically is, oh shoot, uh, the gate won't go up until he's finished talking, so that's why I jumped over it, and I kind of failed back there, uh, doing a jump over the, the crate instead of killing the enemies, uh, but that's okay. Oh my god, he has a sliver of health. That's fine, that's fine, it wasn't bad. Try to kill those guys, okay. Alright. Right. Ooh, that was good. That was a nice little uh, clutch there. I'm happy about that. Now right here, I kind of have to wait for Claptrap a little bit. I can't rush forward because, uh, again, he'll wait for you to be near him so he walks forward. So right now I can rush up here. Uh, I'm going to take the normal path to get up there. I could take the risky way and save like a second or two, but... It's honestly not worth it, especially for a segment this long, because, you know, if you mess that up, then you gotta redo it, so. See, I just lost, like, two or three seconds on that, but that's not a huge deal. I need to recover some rockets, but I'm gonna wait till they get up here so I don't risk falling off this, uh, bridge. Um, I jumped through that little hole so you don't have to wait for Cloud Trap to open the gate for you, which is very, very useful. So you can get right up here in front of Flint and get your rockets pinpoint accurate on him. So. Alright, come on, Flint. Rocket jumping forward, you'll see there that I did before was not. It's not the fastest. You have to be gun soaking in order to. Uh, get some nice long jump speed on that, so I was only doing that to recover rockets, so. It's a new torture dolls, boys. Let's turn up the heat! <laughs> now, I hope I don't fail this part. One time, I had a bandit come up to me and hit me and knocked me off the uh, ship, which was very, very frustrating, and I had to redo the whole run. Um, that was actually like, my last segment that I was doing last night, and that's why, you know, it, it sucks, that's all. Okay, now I gotta kill these enemies for Claptrap to get through. Oh, perfect. 
Sometimes, this is kind of rare, but sometimes you don't have to kill the enemies uh, for Claptrap to clear through. Most of the time you do, but if you get extremely lucky like this, see, he's just running through the enemies, he's not even worrying about them. Uh, that's super rare to do, so I'm happy about that. Oh shoot, I'm out of rockets. Um, it's okay, there's a machine up here I can grab for some more rockets, so... Come on, Claptrap. Alright, come on, Claptrap. Turn it in, and to the door. Alright, attempt number five, here we go. I'm feeling this one, I know I can get it. Well, since I have no rockets to rocket jump, I'm using grenade jumps right now. Uh, this will save me some time. Ooh, perfect. He hit me, so I have the increased movement speed. Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping I could combine it with- well, we made it, never mind, we're good. I was hoping to combine it with the grenade jump so I can get a really nice long jump, but it's okay. So quickly get some ammo here, because we have some downtime. Uh, reload the rockets here. Okay. Thank god, sometimes those bully monks follow you all the way over here. And uh, it's pretty frustrating, because I didn't have my rockets reloaded, so... Now right here we're gonna wait because if we run in there right now, uh, all the enemies are gonna attack us. So I'm gonna wait for her to say bandits. There we go. And now we can rush in here and get ready to grab the power core. Or the catch a ride thingy, I don't know what you call this thing. The adapter, okay whatever. <laughs> I never really paid attention to that. Alright, let's combine it to this. There we go. Uh, get away from me. Is he coming after me? Oh no, there's... Okay, we're good. Let's recover a little bit of rockets. We got time. And full rockets. Alright. <laughs> I love Scooter. He's awesome. Right. My last attempt, I tried to the boost... Ugh, I tried to boost across the... Oh, damn it. Go straight. I tried to boost across that jump there, and I ended up hitting the side of the railing and fell down. So that was kind of frustrating. I'm glad I didn't do that again. <laughs> Alright. I could go around the long way, but it's faster to go this way. Oh, 360 for the win. <laughs> uh... Yeah, my first attempt, I ended up hitting that, uh, rock and falling off the cliff, so that was kind of frustrating. Yeah, I could have saved a second there hitting that button, but that's okay. I know you guys are going to comment and be like, oh, the times, or the many times you've said you could have saved a second, you could have saved yourself an hour through the whole run, and, uh, that's not really going to happen. It's, if it's like a second or two, it's okay, but if it's a major mistake, um, I'll redo it, so... Right here, we have to wait for Roland to shut up so I can grab this uh, echo recording of Lieutenant Davis. Or Corporal Reese. My bad. Ah, oh, damn. I tried to hit the side there so that I could uh, quickly teleport out of the vehicle instead of like manually climbing out of it. But yeah, it's no big deal. Now we gotta give it a second before we kill him. Alright. Cool. Ooh. Frame rate lag. I hate that. Hit me? Nope. Okay. Do some rocket long jump in here. Now we gotta get ourselves the uh, power core. And then what I'm going to do here is jump off the cliff, and since I saved all the way back at the uh, button I clicked earlier, it'll teleport me back there. So, oh damn, fuck. Get the core. Oh my god, get the core. Okay. It wasn't that bad. I'm going to I'm gonna go with it. Alright. And so as you can see, instead of running all the way back, I can spawn right here and press the button. Right. 
Now we're about to be in Sanctuary. Let's recover a couple rockets. There we go. Alright, let's get inside the door. Son of a bitch. Alright, there we go. <laughs> All right, attempt number two. Here we go. Hopefully, I can get this one right. All right. Now we gotta grab this power core. Uh, you guys might have noticed that the loading and saving screens are really short. It's because I cut them down. Um, because on PS3 and Xbox, they take forever to uh, load and save and stuff like that. So. Um, but on PC, it's super fast because it has more processing power. So, loading and saving screens, I'm not counting them towards my time. But any time that I'm playing, like moving the character, that's uh, what's counting towards the speed run. So. Now, you might think I could just grenade jump or rocket jump over the gate to save time, but it really doesn't matter because you have to listen to this dialogue anyways, which is unskippable, which is kind of annoying. But I do have a really cool trick coming up here, and I want to thank Admiral Baru, um, he's a guy who plays on PC. Um, he found this trick out in which you can grab echo recordings to cancel the dialogue of characters, and it'll allow you to continue on the waypoint faster, because it'll skip their little dialogue and uh, allow you to grab waypoints and stuff like that faster, which I'm going to be doing in this uh, sanctuary area, so... <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. You can't hate Scooter. He's hilarious. <laughs> if you guys haven't played Borderlands 1, I would definitely play it because that guy was the humor of the game. And he's just hilarious, so. So right here, we have to wait for him to stop talking, and then we're going to grab these fuel cells and a stack of iridium and basically get to the waypoint as fast as possible because we have to play some... Um, down so I know some of you guys might have played through Borderlands and kind of understand it but I'm trying to explain it so that anybody who hasn't played it can kind of understand what I'm doing right now so sorry if you played it and I feel like uh, if you feel like I'm annoying you I'm sorry so <laughs> alright looks like we made it a little early so that's okay Alright, plant that, and we're going to do a rocket jump over to the next one. Mm, I could have done better on the rocket jump. And... I didn't want to risk it right there, I could have done a rocket jump to this one, but I didn't want to risk crashing into the wall. Alright, so right here we're grabbing the, the uh, echo recordings to skip the dialogue. And then we're going to grab this mission over here to skip Scooter's dialogue, which will allow us to talk to the guard and get the key. Uh, it saves like 10 or 15 seconds if you didn't take the the mission, so, oops. <laughs> oh, well, we're good. Alright, coming up here, I'm going to save and quit, and then jump back in the game and save and quit again. And what this will do is load the uh, next uh, fast travel area instead of running all the way over there, which is a really, really useful trick. And I'll be doing that a couple times in this run, so... Alright, so we're going to be using a lot of rocket long jumps in this area because the main point of this area is to go from waypoint to waypoint. Um, if I didn't have to follow the waypoints, I could easily grenade jump uh, or super jump up the back area of where Lilith is, but sadly we have to go through this. Ooh, leg spike, I hate that. So, in these lower ceiling-like areas, I just shoot at the ground. I don't jump at all, because I don't want to risk hitting uh, the ceiling and then ruining my speed. So, right. I'm almost out of uh, gun check, so, yep, got one more up there. Just got a reload going here. Uh, let's do some grenade jumps. Oh, by the way, this is attempt number two. Yes, it's two. I read them down on a piece of paper, in case you guys are wondering, to see how many times I have to redo an area, so. Alright, because I messed up right here. I didn't get a long jump off of that spot there. Ooh, that was close. I almost had my head on the pipe. Alright. 
So right here, I just shoot straight at the ground because the ceiling's really low, and I don't want to risk hitting the ceiling and uh, bumping my head and stopping my run speed. So. Oh damn it! Get out of the way, save machine. Let's make it over here. Oh ah, we're good. We're good. Okay. So we're about to Lilith. Oh damn! I want to get one more off. Oh well. Something for you. What up, bruisers? Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, he dropped a white gun. <laughs> Sup? Sup? How you doing, Lilith? And I now I, now I got to revive you. Call me the Firehawk, but the name's Lilith. Can I crack? Clean yourself up. Um, if I were a siren and I had the res skill, I could just face lock the siren and uh, get her up. It would save time, but. Gun soaking's overall the fastest way to go for uh, ultimate bolt hunter mode speed run, or just the speed run in general. So, all right, let's go get this iridium nugget, this chicken nugget. That's a strong box there. <laughs> Use your uh, purple chicken nuggets. And we're doing good. Yep, we're full on uh, launcher ammo. So now the bandits are going to come in, and I got to get ready for that, so. Now I'm going to shoot off one launcher at a time. I'm not going to spam them both at the same time, because I need to make sure I can serve rockets. Because I want to stay in Gunsirk this whole, uh, this whole time, so. Because I have the skill to where each time I get a kill, I think I get like six seconds more to Gunsirking, so. So I just stare at my radar and shoot at the red dots. And since I'm shooting close enough to the ground right now, I'm recovering rockets. So I want to keep it this way so that I don't have to, uh... More oh, fuck. He broke my gun, Zerk. Oh, well. We're getting a lot of ironclads. That's why it's kind of difficult right now. Well, we'll see how this run goes. If I can pull it off well, uh, I might stick. I might stick with it, so... That was a good little, uh... Spam there. I think we're good. Yeah, I still got a gun zig, so we're good, we're good. They found right. way in. Yes, they did. Nice shot. Thank you. Sorry, I'm trying to focus right now. Ah, oh, damn, I can't get that guy over there. Oh, well, he's coming. I think we'll get him. Thanks for doing nothing, Lilith. Uh, you told me that ten times now. <laughs> nice shot. Alright, this is the last part here. Come on. I am low on ammo. This guy better die. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we got it. We got it. Oh, damn. Uh, I lost like a second or two there. I should have been up there by the box, but that's okay. Let's <clears throat> cover a few rockets real fast. All right, now we're gonna save warp to the door. Uh, yeah, since the vault opened, my siren powers have been getting a little. Off you got a really uh, a bouncy head. No idea why. All right. Now let's talk about rescuing my boyfriend. So now we're gonna save and quit. For the blood. Rolling. All right, killer. Alright, now we're on our way over to the dust. The dust. I can't remember for some reason. Do some rocket jumping over here. We'll grab ourselves a car. And now to the dust. Alright, now we're at the dust, and now we have to go talk to Titties. I mean Ellie, sorry. <laughs> Forget her name sometimes. Uh, basically, I'm just going to enter the cutscene up here, and then I'm going to save and quit to skip it. So, let's get this timed right. And now. Alright, now we just have to talk to him. We're going to save and quit to skip the dialogue.
Okay, so this part's kind of annoying because I have to basically kill five cars. And we're going to equip the B because if you didn't know, if you have uh, the B on while you're in a vehicle, you're always hitting your amp damage uh, with the vehicle shot. So, so we're just going to make our way over here to this uh, car garage. And they're going to spawn out of nowhere right in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-fire here so they spawn into my bullets. Just one. Only two spawn here. I got to get the other two over here. So we're going to go this way. Oh, he's already out. Sometimes you can make it over there before he comes out, but most of the time, uh, you're not able to, so. And that means the other one's gonna be right behind me then, because he's already out. Yep, there he is. Oh, that's good. Stopped him. So, let's go ahead and spam some bullets. There we go. The last one will be out here in the middle of nowhere. Yep, I see him over there. I hope my vehicle doesn't blow up. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna save and quit. Okay, so now we have to build the vehicle, so let's go ahead and do that. Come on, Ellie, shut up. Alright, spawn it in, and here we go. Now we're coming up to one of the coolest uh, parts of the game, which is Bloodshot Stronghold. And I found a very, very cool route for that, so... I hope you guys enjoy that part, and that definitely deserves a like just for uh, what you're about to see, so... Let's honk the horn, alright. Now we're gonna go ahead and equip the uh, sham back on now, since we're done with the bee. Now you can't rocket jump or grenade jump over this door, um, there's a huge invisible barrier, so... There's no point in trying to skip it. Alright. Oh shit, don't die, don't die. Oh man. It's my uh, fifth time doing this uh, segment, so hopefully I don't mess it up again. Bad Maw kicked my ass. Last round, and I have to redo it, so. Alright, let's do this. Concert. Okay, cool. Alright. Ooh! My inconceivable skill allowed me not to waste ammo on my shots, and that's uh, a pretty good segment there because I didn't have to reload, so. Let's recover some rockets while waiting for the door to come down, and. Let's go. A little too early. Oh well. Okay, now for Bloodshot Stronghold. This is really, really cool, so you guys will like this one. So, first I gotta stock up on grenades. Ah, oh, damn it, the machine glitched out. Sometimes it'll glitch out and you can't scroll down, so. Kill these guys, give myself a little bit of uh, extra gun circling time. By the way, this is my 20. Let me paper. 23rd attempt doing this, so. I'll just let you know it's not easy. <laughs> Okay. Grenade jump. Got it. Land here. Another long jump. Sorry guys, I just need to concentrate on this. I don't want to mess up again. Yes! Okay, we made it up here. Alright. Now I have to wait for my uh, gun circling ability to come back. Because I'm about to do a super jump, which involves four grenades and a rocket jump. And, uh, it's pretty epic. Because <laughs> there's a huge, huge invisible wall here, so. Alright. There we go. Okay, made it. Sweet. Oop. <laughs> is just humming. Now we gotta go save rolling. Just walk through the wall. <laughs> Come on, rolling man. You can just walk through the wall. What are you doing in here? Vault Hunter. <laughs> Good to finally meet you in person. Hell of a job fighting through those bloodshots. 
Well, really, I skipped them all. This will just take a second. Well, the good news is I don't have to wait for the jail cell to open because I'm already on the other side, so I can go ahead and rocket jump my way to the door now. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> oh, it definitely deserves a like. Okay, now time for Bloodshot Strong. Now, I've been messing up a lot on this area because it's, just, it's such an obstacle rocket jumping through it. You can easily hit a wall and get car blocked by something. So, uh, this is probably my at least over 10th try of doing this. Uh, it's pretty annoying, I'll tell you that much. Jump over this roof. Kill these guys. Okay, cool. Sometimes I go down right there because my sham doesn't want to absorb the North Fleet, which is kind of annoying. But I had to kill those guys to get more gunsucker duration because I need to have it by the time I get to, uh, Warden, so. Damn, I missed my rocket jump there. <laughs> oh well. I didn't lose too much time. Super jump here. Alright. Gotta reload the North Woods. Alright, Warden, you're going down, sucker. Oh, come on. You better... Okay, cool, we got him. Alright, now we gotta hit the save point so we can uh, save and quit and then start back here. So saving and quitting there is very important because it allows me to skip this whole battle scene of fighting all these spots. Um, so that's a great time saver for a run. Ooh. And it wasn't bad. Now I'm a little low on grenades, but I think I'm going to wait until I get to Tiny Tina's place to buy some. Because uh, we really don't need any until we get around that point, so it's no big deal. I don't want to waste time buying it from the machine here. Okay, we are at Tundra Express. Now, this is a pretty long segment. Uh, hold on, let me get this grenade jump right. That was good. Um, this is a pretty long segment, so I gotta be careful. Let's hope I can get all these rockets lit. Oh, come on. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, that took a lot of tries because the bar kids would run away and they wouldn't like follow you sometimes, so um, thank god I got that right. What up, Mordecai? You know, this guy is actually my favorite character from Borderlands 1. He was uh, the sniper kind of guy and he was a lot of fun to play as. You could like throw Bloodwing and then he would like so attack multiple enemies and cause status effects and stuff. He was, so he was a cool character. Brick was probably my second favorite. Um, the Siren was trash in that game. I didn't really care for her. And who was another guy? Oh yeah, Roland. Uh, I didn't play as him. <laughs> he, I don't know. Just the whole turret thing. He didn't seem that cool to me, so I never really played as him. Now this is a good uh, area to save a lot of time compared to other runs because. It's a really big area, and you can rocket jump a lot of your distance in this uh, area, so. What up, Tina? Dude, I can't wait for the uh, moon base DLC. Uh, it's going to be a fun one. Tiny Tina's DLC was a lot of fun, too. I can't wait for the next one, though. I mean, season pass number two, uh, they already confirmed it, so I will definitely be getting that. Huh? Alright, shoot me people. There we go. Got the speed bonus. Come on, gun circling duration. Come back. There we go. Ooh. 
That's a good jump. <laughs> Let's get one more off. Oh, damn. Okay. I hope I don't get hit by a train again. I heard it coming. Uh, it happened to me last run of this area. I got hit by a train and it just killed me. <laughs> so, got lucky right there. Alright, come on. Oh shit, this way. Damn it, box, move. <laughs> my god, this area is such a maze. Alright, give me my badonkadonk. Oh, I failed that grenade. I was trying to get a grenade jump right there. Oh well. Not a huge deal. Come on. There we go. Ah. Okay. Sorry guys, trying to focus. Now we got we got to get ready to equip the uh, corrosive Norfleet because we're about to be fighting Wilhelm, and I definitely I definitely need uh, corrosion on him because he's uh, he's got a lot of health. So I've always wanted to get behind this door and see what happens. I've grenade jumped a couple times. There's like a window above the uh, door there. You can kind of peek and get a, and you can kind of see what's going on. She's just standing there doing nothing. Oh damn! You looking good, ladies. Let's get to work. All right, we're gonna buy some grenades now. Because we have to wait for uh, her to finish talking, anyways. Take him, take him, take him. With pleasure. All right, let's go. Shoot me, people. There we go. Ooh, we got speed now, baby. Ooh, there we go. All right, I don't want to risk rocket jumping onto the ladder and missing it. <laughs> take it safe. Ooh, lag spike. See, I wish the PS3 and Xbox had the power to handle this game um, to its fullest extent because you get lag spikes and very long loading and saving screens. It's kind of annoying. That's why PC will always have the advantage on the uh, speed running of games. Okay. Nothing we can do here but wait. Even if I were to grenade jump up there or a rocket jump, I would still have to wait for this uh, check mark to come up on my uh, mission log. So I gotta oh, wait right here. Alright, there we go. Alright, now we gotta equip the uh, corrosive Norfleet and the corrosion relic. There we go. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind me talking a lot during this run. I mean, I know most of you are probably here just for the gameplay and don't care about my commentary. But I just want to make sure you guys know what's going on and what I'm doing. Uh, because I am not playing the game normally, like how it's supposed to be played. And I just want to make sure you guys, you know, understand what exactly I'm doing. So, uh, in case you want to do a run yourself or you just don't understand uh, something I did in this run. I just want to make it clear for you guys, so... Alright, well, how am you going down? I gotta kill him in one clip. That's my goal. Oh, it's not looking promising. One more. Yes! Okay. Okay, that was good. Alright, where's the core? Oh, perfect. Okay. Sometimes the core flies closer to the fast travel machine, and that's what I wanted, so... Sweet. Let's get a rocket jump. Oop. Alright, we're good. Now we're going to Sanctuary. Oh Once shit, where's Sanctuary? Oh, there it is. Okay. Man, I hate how every time I get to Sanctuary with fast travel, I have that huge lag spike. You guys are probably just like, Joel, shut up about the lag spikes. But it, it's true. It really can uh, mess up your run, just having those lag spikes in general. So... Alright, now we gotta turn the core in, or this mission in, and then put the core in, so. Come on. There we go. Ah, what the hell? Hey, you know, I 
Man, I can't wait to pound your face in, Jack. I'm gonna mess you up. Executing face shift. <laughs> All right. I've got a power core. Raiders, the shields are down. The shields. All right, so we're gonna stand over here by a scooter. Let's kill ourselves some vault hunters. All right, get ready for this. Go. Everybody, I've got a really bad idea. Scooter. All right. Oh, we can't do that I don't know. Oh, everyone in the city. Everyone Sorry, guys. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> I gotta grab these nuggets and two grabs. It's four, five. Perfect. Ooh, one more rocket jump. Come on. Oh, baby, we got it. That was good. <laughs> uh, I've never been able to get a rocket jump off there after I talked to Roland and get the nugget, so that was good. Not that it really matters, we still have to wait for Lilith anyways. Now this is kind of annoying, uh, Lilith won't take the nuggets right away. Sometimes she will, sometimes she won't. So, But she took them pretty fast, so I'm okay with that. Save and quit here. Alright, now we have to go to Three Horns Valley. So I'm gonna grab a car here. I know you're angry at me right oh now. man, the lag. Come on, I'll there we go. Right, it's a pretty straightforward path from here. Just follow the yellow brick road. Or gray, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Use my boost. Alright. See if I can get this ramp off this rock there. Oh, I got it. Awesome. Um, if your car is at an angle when you get out of it, you'll basically teleport out of your car instead of, like, having the get out of your car animation. And that can save a little bit of time. So, I'm glad I was able to nail that. Alright, we gotta wait for this, uh, ice to melt. Come on now. Burn, baby, burn! Alright, let's go. Alright, so this segment's pretty uh, straightforward too. You just have to get the use of speed and uh, rocket jump. So I got my speed bonus. And since this area is downhill, I can get a very, very nice long jump. Five years ago, I tricked Rowan and his friends into Perfect. the vault. I told them it was to protect right. Pandora from a great evil. That was a lie. Go. Jack knew he could make a fortune off mm, the Kind of wish I didn't reload there. Oh well. But he was too Without you, Pandora has no hope. You have no reason. We're gonna save our gun circuit duration for this uh, part coming up here. Oh, that was crap. Oh well, we hit the uh, dialogue scene, so we're good. Let's go ahead and sell off some of my crap. Get some grenades. Hey, killer. I phased the city. No big deal. Find a way back here as quick as you can. Don't you. Now and we picked up a bunch of crap. <laughs> you can use any fast travel station to get back to the Crimson right. Raiders. I'll mark the nearest one on your Echo device. And check it. Nothing. Okay, Error. let's go. Location? Sanctuary. Not found. <laughs> oh no. Right. The phase blast must have taken Sanctuary off the Oh shoot, I almost forgot. I gotta equip some, uh, a shock north fleet right here. And the relic. There we go. I need to stay in gun circuit duration for uh, a good chunk of this area because I want to be able to rocket jump through the uh, long uh, paths. So. Come on. All right, let's do a rocket jump right here. Ooh, we are doing some parkour. Okay. This spot coming up here, I gotta kill that guy right there. 
because if I don't, I'll blow up the controls and the bridge will go up, so you don't want that. Mm, we're almost out of gun circuit duration. Dang. If we can take him out in two reloads, I think we'll be good. Because this guy's got a beastly shield, so we gotta make sure we take it out with the shock. Just eat the uh, Ooh, perfect. That okay. Die. Oh, we're good. We got this. All right, let's go. Oh shoot, I forget. Ah, I didn't grab it. All right, we're good. We're good. You've got the beacon. Didn't lose a lot of time there. We can use a second. That to fast right, let's go. Ah oh, man, guys, you missed it. Uh, I had the most flawless run on this segment here. But my PVR decided to stop uh, recording halfway through, because um, after I finished the segment, I went back to look at my PVR and it said uh, it wasn't recording. And so now I have to redo it. So let's hope I can pull it off just like I did last time, because it was epic. Oh my god, and everything went right. It was just a flawless piece of uh, work. But let's see if I can get a, uh, another good segment like that again. Um, so that really sucks. <laughs> <coughs> See if I can get the car ramp right. Eh, I didn't know it. Oh well. Um, now in this area, I basically have to kill the bots and wait until this uh, fast travel is landed, so I can get back to sanctuary. Um, but this is a timed event, so no matter like if I just destroy it, like spam more fleets everywhere, um, it's not going to really make a difference uh, because that. Uh, Fast travel is gonna land as soon as uh, the time limits up for them to keep spawning. So it doesn't make a difference of how fast I kill them. So um, just a heads up on that in case you guys think I'm slacking or not, you know, doing anything. Just sitting there, you know. There's some rockets here. See, like right now, it doesn't really matter how fast I kill them. Just do a trick shot on them. <laughs> I should have spanned, but oh well. 360! Yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, the beacon's almost down. I better go uh, get ready to repair it. Yep, there it goes. It doesn't matter, because I hit the next uh, part of the cut, or the dialogue there, so. It doesn't really matter if it went down or not. I think I'm just gonna buy ammo from the machine instead. Just so I don't have to sit there and reload the rockets. Or use the rockets. You know, eh, absorb it from the sham, you know? So, it doesn't really matter. What you doing? You're not going to that beacon. You gotta get through me first, suckers. <laughs> Um, we should have the constructor bot coming up here pretty quick. I hate surveyors, they're such a pain. I just have to shoot the ground as soon as they're near. He's right behind me. Got him. Alright. <laughs> I like how she talks without moving her lips. Here comes the constructor. He's gonna spawn right here. You're dead! <laughs> uh, almost. And we got robots going towards the beacon. I'm just gonna wait for him to jump over here. Not a huge deal. Like I said, it's a timed event, so it doesn't matter how fast I kill the guys. There we go. Buy some more rockets. 
Ooh, breaking my shield. 360. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just this is kind of a boring part of the run. I kind I just want to make it as exciting as possible. You know, even if it means messing around a little bit. Ooh, I almost went down there. Alright. BAM! <laughs> Almost. Okay. There's one more dialogue text after this one, and then the uh, fast travel will land, and I can get back to Sanctuary. So, one more wave of enemies. I dare you, Jack. I dare you. You got nothing on me. I got two motherfucking more fleets. You're done, dude. I'll be spamming them in your face for sure. This is just overkill. They don't stand a chance. Okay, uh, a few more probably. Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Okay. So now we're gonna stand here, and we'll be right in front of the fast travel as soon as it lands. Just a few more seconds. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. All right, come on now. There we go. Sanctuary. Okay, so now we gotta go talk to Roland, and he's gonna give us one of the worst parts of the game that's gonna be the biggest pain in my side to speed run because it's such a long segment. Which is a wildlife exploitation preserve, and this is gonna suck. <laughs> But, uh, hopefully I can get it really, really nice, so here we go. So, yeah, this is attempt number, let me see the paper now, 46, <laughs> god damn, this place sucks, and uh, this is a couple days later, because I've been trying uh, a few times a day, quite a few times a day, and it's just been so difficult, so, um, yeah, I've commentated this run, or this segment so many times already, it's just like, unbelievable. Alright, let's just hope I can uh, get it right this time. I was so close like two runs ago and I freaking failed so hard at Bloodwing. Because my bullets decided not to hit, so. Um, there's a lot of luck uh, involved in this run. Oh yeah, I, that's right, I got a crappy grenade mod equipped. I must have picked it up on accident, so. We're gonna drop that real fast. Get that out of my inventory. And, of course, I'd pick it back up. <laughs> Get out of there. All right. So, this is the first part that takes a lot of luck, is injuring three bots super fast with your Northfleet rockets without killing them. So, I gotta hide behind this box here until, uh, Mordecai lets me, uh, injure them. So, here we go. We only shoot one Northfleet. One more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, buddy, that was a good one. That was a good one. This could be the run, guys. Just that part right there is uh, what caused me to redo the run so many times, so. Let's get some uh, long jumps going on here. <laughs> I remember I got stuck on that pipe super bad once. Uh, it's a good thing I got up at that time. Alright. Like I said, there was a lot of things to this uh, area that could just ruin your run, so... <sighs> Let's just hope this is the one. We're doing good so far. Alright. 
So now the goal is to clear out these enemies as fast as I can. And I gotta be careful to watch my rockets because I don't want to run out. Because there's not a machine around for a while, so... Actually, yeah, there's not one for until you get all the way over to uh, Bloodwing, so... It's good. Okay. We're doing good, we're doing good. As soon as the ultimate badass stalker comes out, that's when we know to uh, head towards that door in front of us. Hey. Die. Jeez, there he is. So as soon as I kill this guy, I gotta run towards the, do the door. Ugh. Uh, but I need to get some rockets first. I don't want to afford uh, running out of them, so. Okay. Take him out. It's over there. Alright, so basically we can't just run past this guy right here. We have to kill him. Because as you can see, I'm running forward. I can't get through until he's dead, so. He has to die. No running past him. We're doing good so far. Let's not screw it up. <laughs> Uh, nope. Just a pile of blood and a feather. That's all we found. Alright. I like how Mordecai is just like, Oh, they took Bloodwing and I'm just gonna sit up on top of a hill and complain about it. Why don't you jump in here and use your mad sniping skills to, uh, go get your own bird. Lazy ass. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this grenade jump. Oh, yes, we got it. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Ah, oh, shit. Go. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Like, the minuscule amount of time that I lose here is not really... Oh, shit. Hold on. Please. Okay, we made it. Uh, the minuscule amount of time I lose here is not worth redoing the segment over and over. Because this is really a tough segment. And it's really uh, getting on my nerves. So I really just want to go with it. So. Alright. Ooh, speed boost. Thank you. Okay, we are about there. The last thing we have to worry about is killing Bloodwing as soon as she uh, changes elements, so we can't screw this up. Um, I need to get all my uh, my gear now. Um, slag, the B, we're good. What the fuck? How did that kill me? It's okay, we're good. We still have the dialogue to listen to, so um, I'm pretty sure I can get back into the arena before the fight starts. So, we should be good here. I really hope so. How did that happen? I have level 1 pot of booms. How would that kill me? I must have got shot in the back. I really don't know what happened there. Um, we should be good, though. I really hope we can get this fight done. <laughs> I know I sound like a whining little baby right now, but damn, this is the toughest segment of the run so far. And I thought Bloodshot Stronghold was pretty tough, but no, this one is, uh... Definitely the one. Okay, we're good. I can't shoot Bloodwing right now. She has invincibility right now until she uh, changes to uh, the next element, which will be fire. So, I gotta wait till that happens uh, before I can shoot her. Alright. Oh, we're good. As long as half their health is gone, uh, then we're good. Yep, we're good. Gotta tap her with the infinity so she comes back and changes elements. Come on, this is it. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, guys. You don't know how happy I am right now. Oh, my hands are shaking. Fuck. Finally, oh my god. Oh, let's just not screw this part up. I gotta save and quit here. Teabag, suck it, man. Suck it. <laughs> I'm so happy. Alright.
Okay, so now we gotta get the North Leech back on. Uh, slag, Shock, and then the Sham. And we'll be good to go. And Sanctuary. Okay, so now we're getting ready to go to a thousand cuts. First, we gotta give Claptrap this upgrade. And then talk to Roland, get the note, and then we'll be on our way. Here you go, Claptrap. I think it's funny how Roland's gonna give us a note to deliver to Brick. And, you know, they live in the age with all this technology, fast travel. Still working on that mission? You know, that all mission? that stuff, and they still deliver still notes, like, mission? they can't, like, Any updates on that text mission? each other, or still working on that mission? telepathically talk to each other or something. I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna be on our way. We're going to the Highlands. Alright, so this segment's pretty straightforward. Um, it would be so nice if I could just rocket jump over to Brick's uh, little uh, arena, but I have to follow these waypoints for the uh, mission to work, which is kind of annoying. So, gotta take the boring old regular route. Um, there are times where, like, I'm perfectly doing my segment, but my commentary gets messed up. Like, sometimes I'll just be like, uh, I'll start stuttering or I'll forget what I'm gonna say or my train of thought's just lost. So that could cause me to redo a segment, even if it's perfect, which is kind of annoying. Um, but most of the time, you know, uh, I know what I'm gonna talk about, but... You know, sometimes I just ramble on, like, right now, but I hope you guys don't mind. So, this is just the Norfleet spamming session here. The good thing about the Norfleet is that it can hit their walls. That's why I'm able to shoot the four from underneath them and uh, hurt them. So, And it's got a huge uh, blast radius, so... That's why this is the weapon of choice for a speedrun. Alright. God, those midgets are so loud. <laughs> They're so funny sounding though. That was pretty fast, I like that. That wasn't bad. It was pretty awesome, wasn't it? <laughs> so what you want? So what you want? <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Here's your note, since uh, Roland can't text you, jerk. Let's punch this guy to death. Sarcastic slab. I think I'm gonna finish him off with a nut shot. Oh yeah, um, if they're low on health, they'll start running faster, or walking faster, which is kind of funny. Come on, let me punch you in the nuts. He's regenerating health, because of ultimate ball hunter mode. Oh, you're not having any babies. <laughs> Teabag ya. Alright. Let's get some full rockets here. Oh, let's get one more. <clears throat> there we go. Um, I could super jump through the way that I came in here and get out there, but it wouldn't be any faster because I have to wait for Brick anyways, which is kind of annoying. So, uh, it's pointless. Alright. Alright. 
see areas like this I like these kind of areas because they're nice and wide open and flat um, and it's just so much easier to speed run compared to other areas that just have like so many walls and structures in the way uh, but this one's pretty straightforward so uh, I've only had to redo this uh, segment once because I got hit by a mortar um, and lost my gun circ right when I pulled it out, so it was kind of annoying. Alright. Boom. <laughs> I'm trying to shoot the ground closer to me, or shoot at the ground closer to me so I don't have to reload rockets. So I can absorb my Norpoli shots too. But it's not working out the best right now. <laughs> Okay. We're good. Ooh, get out of there. Ah! That's why I hate barrels, man. You can't stand near them. They'll always blow up in your face. Terrible. I'm good. Oh, I stepped in it again. My god. I'm gonna die. Uh, we're so close. We're good, we're good. That was a close call. Die, suckers! Ah, oh, there's a buzzard. I was hoping there wouldn't be any, but... Oh, well. Ah, oh, I'm getting low on... Rockets. Uh, I'm gonna have to recover some. Okay. What the hell am I reloading? I just reloaded nothing. Whatever. Ah, oh, we're good. We're fine. I hate that buzzing. Alright, one more beacon. Just hide up here. Okay. Oh, that's just that buzzard. Okay. Oh, we're good to go. Okay, cool. Okay. So now we gotta go turn this into Roland. Hey, Brick. Ah, uh, now we gotta go to Opportunity, and this is one of my least favorite areas, just because there's so many obstacles in the place, so... Let's hope we can get through this together. To breach the final door to my chambers, you'll need to be Jack. Alright, attempt number seven. <laughs> this place sucks. I'll tell you that much. Alright. Like I said, there's so much stuff to get caught on in this place. The rocket jumping is just difficult through this uh, area. Okay. What up, big Jack? You're dead. Ooh, that was good. Didn't even take a whole clip. Okay, click the button. Alright. Ah. Go. Ah, we're good. It doesn't matter, we have to wait for her to shut up anyways, so uh, before we click these buttons. Alright, we're good. Okay. Shut up, Jack. Nobody likes you. Make this jump. Oh, like a boss. Okay. 
opportunity is punishable by death. If not, you also ought to know and the last one's over here. Laws is considered verbal littering. Hey, oh, kids, that's good. Did you know what your mommies and daddies right. gave up so your family could live in opportunity? Now we gotta wait for this door to open. Your family is paid to be here. I'm the one who feeds and protects everyone. Should be a hot loader right inside the store. Yep. Attach the pocket watch quickly. Uh, let's get the button click first before we kill him. Ah, uh, he can't hit me. Ah, uh, you can't hit me, sucker. Oh no, I can. You're dead. Alright. Anything good from the chest? Not that it matters, but oh well. Alright, now we gotta save and quit back to the uh, fast travel. Great. Now, unfortunately. And you'll never guess where we have to go to turn in this mission. Yep, sanctuary. What else is new? Feast your eyes. So now we're gonna be heading to a thousand cuts again. And this time we're gonna be on our way to the bunker. I actually found a pretty cool way to skip the Hyperion force field at a uh, thousand cuts. But it doesn't save any time uh, because you have to be by Claptrap for him to uh, continue the mission, which is kind of annoying. So right here, we're going to give Claptrap a high five because that'll make him move um, closer to the fast travel, which will allow me to get to it faster because we have to talk to him uh, after this little lengthy dialogue. Vault Hunter, we have a shot at stealing the vault key and stopping Jack from waking the warrior. All you have to do is get past a force field that'll atomize you. Destroy All right. a bunker carrying enough firepower to level a continent and get through a door you can't pop. Shut up, Rowan. That's his way of saying just, just shut up. Gonna die. It's time to get clap trapped a thousand cuts. We need him to shut down the force field. All right. Make it painful, guys. Oh, this Man! is gonna be fun! <laughs> So now we have to put the uh, corrosion or plate on because we're going to be facing a lot of robots and Hyperion uh, armored stuff. So, yeah. We're going to rocket jump off this rock. Nice uh, horizontal speed. What up, Claptrap? Alright, so now we're going to skip the force field um, just for the heck of it to make this run more exciting. So you get to the corner of this rock here, and you just grenade jump or rocket jump around the corner. Uh, you can't go straight over the force field because there's like a big death barrier around it. So if I go close to that force field right now, um, I'll end up dying. Just stepping towards Claptrap will kill me, so I gotta stay back here. Which is kind of dumb, but like I said, it doesn't save time um, because I have to be right next to Claptrap uh, after he opens the uh, gate here. Otherwise, he'll just stand here at this little uh, wall that I just jumped over and not do anything. Okay. Kill this constructor. Uh, I was hoping I could kill him in one clip, but oh well. You're dead. Alright. Ah, uh, mortars. Why do you gotta be blocking my path? Oh well, we're good. Oh, I felt that one. Pushing your way up, and I'll meet you at the chamber. They ain't rolling out the wall, Captain. Kill these turrets. Open up. We're gonna do a single rocket jump up this ledge. Okay, now we have a super badass constructor right coming up right here. Um, I could easily maneuver around the store without killing him, but like I said, you have to follow the waypoints. So I have to kill him for this uh, mission to work, which is kind of lame. Alright, so we almost have the uh, gun circling back, so I can not worry about reloading. Because as you can see there, as soon as I pull out my gun circling ability, my uh, clips are reloaded, so... Okay, and now time for the bunker. 
Um, this part's actually pretty easy. Um, I've only messed up once so far, so this is my second time doing it. Basically doing a rocket jump here makes it easier instead of going all the way around. Saves a little bit of time, so. I got that cannon. Now we have to destroy 11 of these, so. I can't shoot them right now because they're invincible until they spawn all the way in, so. I gotta wait till, uh. They're done, like, teleporting into the arena, and then I can shoot them. Uh, so what we're going to do here is switch to the Corrosive Sandhawk because uh, my gun circuit duration is about to run out and it's a lot faster and easier to hit them from uh, longer ranges. So I'm basically going to stand on these boxes so I can get a good viewpoint of all of them and avoid the lasers on the ground. Even though I just hit that one right there, god dang it. <laughs> but for the most part I should be able to dodge uh, all the lasers. So. I shot that one a little early, but as you can see, like it was hitting it, but it didn't lose any health. That's because it has invincibility frames until it spawns in, so. All I can tell you guys is the bunker's about to get raped because um, these Sandhawks do like insane work on them. Like, literally, I'll take them out in probably a clip with the Sandhawk, like, no problem, so. He's like extremely easy to solo, so. one over here. The reason why I'm not going to that one all the way in the back is because um, that's the last one I'm going to get, which is what I'm going to get right now, because I have to jump off in order to get it, so. Ah, oh, damn. That should do it. Come on. There we go. Okay. And now for the easy bunker. I'm going to go ahead and buy some grenades. Uh, you really think I'd protect Angel with nothing but a couple of bots and some flimsy turrets? You see, you're not at the bunker right now. The bunker isn't a place. <laughs> That's the bunker. Meet the BNK-3R, the greatest defense... So basically, I'm going to stand by this force Design field so that when I take him out, I can go and continue and the story objective right away, wasting no time, so... I'm gonna hit him with the slag real fast. Oh. There we go. And then watch this. Yeah, dead. <laughs> Super easy, no problem. Put a couple more bullets in to make sure. Uh, sometimes if you kill him super fast, the game glitches out and he won't die ever. Like, he'll just stay flying around the arena and never die. So that's kind of annoying. So now we have to put one more bullet on him. Um to finish him off, so I have to wait for him to fly back in the arena. What I'm going to do is just use the Norfleet splash damage to uh, hit him, so I can continue the story objective right away. I gotta wait till he's done talking. There we go. Alright. Scan me. And coming up here, I'm going to do one of my cool tricks I just found out recently, which actually saves a good amount of time. Uh, instead of taking the elevator down, I get out of bounds and uh, fall down the elevator shaft, so I'll show you that in a second. But first off, I have to hit this button in order for the story to continue, which is kind of annoying. So now we're going to go back. Oop. There we go. And we're going to do this little... Uh, spot I found here you can get on this rock down here and simply uh, fall down the elevator shaft so and this saves a lot of time because the elevator is extremely slow so now we're on our way to control core angel So after I press this button up here, I'm going to save and quit, and that'll uh, skip the cutscene. Yeah. 
this is a pretty straightforward part. It's not very difficult. Just destroy the robots and the injectors, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, pretty straightforward. And this is a timed event, so no matter how fast I kill the robots, uh, it's not going to really matter um, about the time that it takes to destroy the injectors. Oh, I just want to show you guys real fast. You can actually get up on the bridges before they even appear. Which is kind of funny, but it doesn't benefit me in any way, so... Just thought I'd show you that. <laughs> Alright, let's kill some robots. Die. So like I said, it doesn't matter how fast to kill them, so if you see me kind of just... Not killing them insanely fast, not spamming North Fleets like crazy. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. Alright. Um. Areas like this in the game are just like so boring. Like, you're stuck in a room. You can't go anywhere until you complete the objective. As a speedrunner, I just feel like that's just like the boring parts. I have to be running around objective to objective. Just like destroying the game. <laughs> What up, Roland? <sighs> Come on, Angel. Just shut up and die already. I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't want Angel to die. Roland, you can die. I don't care. It's not because you're black. It's just that you were my least favorite character in Borderlands One. You didn't do anything. I could throw it on the turret and hide behind it and do nothing. Like, what's the fun of that? I like the Berserker, you can just run up and just punch people in the face. Alright, here comes the first injector. I think. Pretty quick here. Come on. I think it's after this wave. There we go. Oh! Splash damage, got it. Sweet. I don't need no ammo, Angel. I got freaking North Bleeds. I can just regen rockets like a boss. Alright. Um, the thing about spamming rockets is I have to be really careful not to run out of rockets. Because I don't have a Logan's gun to regen rockets. I'm using a rocket launcher to regen rockets. Uh, which is my battle rooms here. So if I run out of rockets, that's uh, run over. Because um, I wouldn't be able to regen any more rockets. So I gotta be careful and watch my rocket count. That's why I try to shoot the floor very close to me with the North Leads. So that when I shoot the shots, I uh, regen them too. Um, but sometimes it'll... Uh, that you got a 6% chance to not absorb the rockets, which means that um, it could kill me. But getting a second one isn't very hard with more fleets. <sighs> um, actually, I'm gonna be uploading a video later. And it might be already. It might already be up. But um, if you get out out of bounds here, you can find uh, Lilith sitting on a platform out of bounds and uh, I think that's kind of funny yeah, right. one more yeah I'll show you the video and also um, during Angel's cutscene when you press the button that I skipped uh, you're kind of in a weird crystallized room I don't know how to explain it it's really weird it's like uh, hexagons everywhere uh, if you get under the map you can actually get to that uh, platform again. It's really weird. Um, you can just check one of my previous videos for it. Ah, uh, well, doesn't matter. Second one.
<sighs> Whoops. That could have killed me. This is a very boring segment. I hate this. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far. Okay, let's destroy the injector. Win-win. My bad, Angel. I didn't mean to kill you. Okay, we're rolling. Let's turn in the mission and uh, continue this. How's that mission? Still working on that mission? Any updates on that mission? I'm done with the mission. I'm trying to turn it in, so shut up. And die already. How's that mission? We're gonna save it quit, skip the cutscene. Alright, so we're gonna take a mission from Marcus so it skips dialogue. And uh, let's just continue the objective a little bit faster so. Now we just gotta go turn it in. What up, Mordecai? Chilling in your chair. Alright, let's go. Oh, those lag spikes just kill me. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna head to Sawtooth Cauldron, and that is one of the most annoying areas in the game. I probably said that a bunch in this uh, commentary, which is retarded, but uh, it's a pretty bad one, I'll tell you that much. It's a very, very long segment, and the worst part is the buzzards, uh, because I have to kill them with more fleets, so it's gonna be a little tough, so. So basically, we have to go over here, trigger the door to shut, and then we're gonna um, save and quit as soon as it uh, pops up in the mission objective. You can actually get over there, but like I said, you have to continue the mission, so there's no point in traveling there. It would just glitch up the game, so can't go there. <laughs> get ready to save and quit. So now we're going to put on the shock stuff because, oh, the uh, ammo machine's glitched out in the back. There's like a color air with it. That happens. Um, so yeah, we have the shock stuff on now because it'll be the best for damaging what's coming up, so. Alright, so we're going to do a little uh, rocket jump here to get to the elevator faster. Nailed it. Alright. Alright, so now we have to kill these four nomads, and this is kind of tough because they have a lot of health and their shield can block the uh, Norfleet shot, so. Just gotta spam them. Eh. Lost my gun check in there, but oh well, we're good. We still have the increased movement speed from the uh, inside skill, so we're good. 
I am so close to dying. Please don't die. Please don't die. I think we're good. And we're good. Do some long jumping here. So now we have to just go uh, destroy Boombringer, which is uh, Mortar's buzzard. So it's pretty easy to kill it. It only takes one Norpley shot to take it out. It's pretty weak. All right, let's get one more jump off. Ooh, lag spikes. <coughs> I should do it. Takes a second to kick in. Yep, there it is. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna kill Mortar just because, uh... It's such a close range and I might go down from it and, uh, I need to just basically get in that elevator and take it up as fast as I can, so... I'm just gonna rush in there and hit the button, be on my way. See ya, mortar. Okay, so this is the most difficult part because the buzzards tend to fly far away and the Norfleets are really, really hard to hit on them. So I basically want to nail them with my Norfleets while they're flying out of the little uh, cylinders kind of things you'll see coming up here. First, I gotta kill off these guys a little bit, and then they'll start spawning. Should be coming up somewhere. Alright, looking at the radar. Alright, there, see? As soon as they come out of there, I just wanna spam them and get them. Oh, this is perfect. Ooh. Oh, damn, I missed that one. Oh, well, that's very, very uh, good timing there. I'm happy with that. I gotta watch my rocket count. I don't want to run out. Come on. There we go. This guy. Oh, he's still alive. Come on, you're the last one. You're dead. There we go. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. That wasn't too bad. I've had a lot worse. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'm not competing for world record on this game or anything. I'm just casually playing it for fun, trying to speedrun it at the fastest I can. So, I mean, this could be world record, but honestly, I don't care. I'm not going to submit it to any uh, speedrunning sites or anything, so I'm just doing it for fun. That was pretty good. Now I just gotta wait to travel. Gotta wait for the uh, well check mark. There it is. Jump off the east end of the now we're on our way to Arid Nexus Boneyard, and this place isn't too bad, but there is a couple of spots that can be a little bit troubling. So hopefully, I can uh, avoid that. <sighs> Wonder if King Mong's still over here. Hey, there he is. What's up, King Mong? He's the guy who drops the bada boom, in case you guys are wondering, which is what I'm using for my rocket jump, so. Thanks, King Mong, you're very helpful. Alright, so let's do this. Huge lag spikes here, which is kind of annoying. Come on, there we go. Damn, okay. Now we gotta go to the pipeline. Hopefully, I can nail this right. Sometimes your car gets stuck and it's really annoying, and then I have to reset, which is terrible. 
Thank God I made it. Now we're gonna head to the first pipeline. So far so good. Just get a rocket jump to my car. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> I love doing that. So coming up here, I'm trying to skip a save station, which is like those little pulls that save your uh, game or whatever. Because I don't want to hit it because I want to kill myself to spawn back at the beginning. So I'm going to dart to the left when I get up here and hopefully skip it. Awesome, I didn't hit it, so... So now we'll hit these. And now I'm just going to kill myself and spawn back at the beginning. It's a lot faster than taking the uh, slow elevator back up. Grab a new car. We got one more station. Alright. There we go. So now for the pipeline, we just gotta hit it, and then uh, we're good. Come on. That was good. Sometimes you get stuck on the side of the pipe, and uh, I gotta reset when I do that, and I hate that when that happens. Oh, I am tired. So right here, I'm gonna stop and line myself up with the ladder. There we go. That is epic, I know. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna head to Air Nexus uh, Badlands. This area is pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing too difficult with it. Uh, the only objective here is to get my Echo device and be on my merry way. Uh, Saturn can cause a problem, but for the most part, he's a uh, pretty uh, input. I guess. I'm not gonna kill him because I want his uh, damage for my inside skill. Keep me running fast. Jump this corner right here. Oh, that's pretty epic. So now we're just gonna go up here and get the echo device. And then we're gonna save and quit to get back to the uh, fast travel faster. So now we just gotta wait. Come on. Save and quit. Ah, get out of the corner. Alright. There we go. Turn this into Mordecai. Oh my god, the lag spikes are terrible here. I really hope the next gen consoles can uh, handle this kind of stuff. If not, that'll be kind of a letdown. Alright, now we just gotta talk to Claptrap. Shut up, Mordecai. Get one grenade jump off here. And two of Radiant Blight. Get a car here. Oh my god, the lag spikes. There we go. I complain too much, I know. Uh, so guys, we're almost to the end of the game. That's crazy, I know, right? 
And of course King Mong would be there. That guy just wants to be killed. <laughs> Alright. What up Claptrap? Let's go uh, teabag Jack's corpse. Let's do it. Yeah. Now you can grenade jump and get behind the door before you even open it, but there's no point to it. You just go up here and you just jump over to uh, this platform over here. Um, oh, well, I fell, so... Uh, anyways, you just jump over there, then you can do a grenade jump and uh, get over the door. But there's no point to it. Because I have to stay on the story mission. Otherwise, it'll uh, glitch out. So I'm going to put the Corrosion North Fleet on here. Whoop. There we go. So basically now it's just a spam fest. That was the first wave. Get some rockets back. There's a vault symbol back here in case you guys didn't know. Ta-da. The more you know. <laughs> Alright, come on, Claptrap. Open the door. So this next wave, there's going to be uh, surveyor bots flying around, so I need to uh, kill them with splash damage. Um, so what I'm going to do, oh, we have the turrets, never mind. After this, um, basically I'm going to shoot the top of the door, and that splash damage will uh, hit the surveyors as they fly into the uh, arena here. So I'm waiting for him. Uh, he flew to the right, but he should be coming down pretty quick. Might go down here, yep. That's okay. I'm down again. Couple more. I need to get that survey. Oh, I got him. Sweet. Alright, let's get some rockets back here. So now there's going to be surveyors uh, coming out the top here, I think. If they come out the top. Sometimes they don't. Yeah, they are. Okay, they are. So splash damage on the top of the door will kill them. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to regen some rockets here pretty quick. My shield's uh, not regenerating. That's good. So this is the final wave. Coming up to Heroes Pass, I found a really, really awesome route um, with the rocket jumps, and it's totally sick. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Now, even if I rocket jumped over the door, it still wouldn't matter because I still have to wait for the mission to change. So, there's no point. 
I'm actually gonna have to wait when I get up here for the check mark to pop up, so. Okay, so this uh, area is really, really awesome. I've already screwed up a few times, but uh, hopefully I can get it right this time. I gotta kill these uh, guys up here and destroy the barrels because they'll end up killing me otherwise. Do a rocket jump here with the grenade jump. Skip the first barrier. Rocket jump. Oh, damn. See, that's what I'm talking about, the lag spikes that can screw you up like that. That wasn't bad, though. Get up here. Let's get one more rocket jump up here. So then we're just gonna go with the uh, traditional second barrier skip. Get to this corner, line myself up. There we go. Let's get one grenade jump up here. I just wrecked through Hero's Pass, like, <laughs> that was pretty good. This guy will give me increased movement speed. Thank you. Now we're on the final part. Hooray! Yay! So now we're gonna put on Shock, because that's the best to uh, kill Jack and the warrior with. Ooh, that was a really weird lag spike. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Hmm. Alright. So we're gonna skip the elevator here by uh, rocket jumping off the rock. Because you don't even have to click the elevator button. Almost there. About to destroy Jack. Huh. Let's see about it. Alright. Jack, you're going down. Hey, you're right on time. He was nearly ready. But before I cleanse this planet for good, I'm going to avenge my daughter. Alright, so... I just destroyed him. No! The key's charged! And whose fault is that? Obviously yet. yours a little bit. You're too late, bandit! I win! <laughs> the greatest alien power Pandora has ever seen. So now I'm about to uh, destroy the warrior. He's pretty easy. So basically I just spam more fleets at him, that's really the only way to kill him. Or at least for me right now. Well, he won't let me have my shield back, so... Eat that. Eat that. <laughs> Shoot some at the lava. There we go. Oh, it's back over here again. And so close. Come on. We got him. And look at that, we ran out of rockets too. <laughs> that is a perfect way to end the game. And now I gotta shoot him with something else because I'm out of rockets. And that is uh, speedrunning Borderlands 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, if you could leave a like, that would be epic, 
and uh, comment below. I love reading your guys' comments. They uh, make me feel better. <laughs> um, we still have one little part here left, and we have to kill Jack, so let's get a good weapon here. Yeah, this shotgun will do. So yeah, if you could like the video, that'd be epic. Uh, let your friends know about it, because uh, this is a pretty epic run in my opinion, so... Uh, so yeah, this is Jilts2139, guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.